Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out this all new, brand new, hot off the press, six inch mid range cinematic FPV drone frame, and it is brand new to the market. And if you have not built a six inch, or maybe you're gonna build a six inch, or maybe you built a six inch and you like them, you love them, you wanna know more about them, you are not gonna wanna miss this. This is gonna be sick. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. All right, pilots, I am so excited. This frame here is made by Access Flying, and they recently dropped their signature frame, which was the Manta 5, and that was actually their first FPV frame, and from there, they created some stacks and some other stuff, some Cine Whoops. They even just released a 6-inch folding FPV frame, and it was super cool and super creative. I am excited because this is the Manta 6, so that lets you know they've refined the ideas, they've redone everything, put more creativity, made it a 6 inch. We're going to open this up, see what it comes with, and then we're going to build it and check it out. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. So opening this guy up, you can see... <laughs> We have everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just dump it out. Boom! Oh crap, dude! Look at these arms. Gosh, these are six millimeter arms. And after I flew at the Bando, I went to a Bando bash, which all of you should be familiar with. I had broken so many frames, and I decided and made an oath at that moment I would no longer fly an FPV drone frame if it didn't have six millimeter arms. And since then, I have broken a lot less arms. Super nice that these arms are big, healthy, they are thick, and they are six millimeters. All right, we've got a mess of stuff here. And I will say, I love how everything just comes in these nice little tidy bags. I mean, look at this. This is really nice. This is, they've taken the time to put everything in little bags for us. But what I'm gonna do is lay them all out. All right, so there you go. We've got all of our bags laid out and looking good. Here's our carbon. Here's like 3D prints. Here's our mounts. Here's our battery strap and battery grippy pad. Everything is here just organized and couldn't be better. We've even got a set of instructions. This is impressive. And then right here, you're gonna see your frame list. Look how nice that is. You can literally roll through your parts and make sure that your bill of materials matches what you're supposed to have, huh? Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and open up these bags, get everything out, get it all laid out and ready to assemble this frame. <laughs> Look at this stuff. We've got ourselves a leather strap. We've got a reflective strap. So if you're gonna fly down the street or something, you've got yourself ice blue, ice blue 3D printing and it looks good. They did a fantastic job with the 3D printing. We've got this clear shell here. I'm assuming that this has something to do with these LEDs. Since when does a frame come with LEDs? Now, over here, moving right along, we've got ourselves our anti-slip battery pad, a beeper. We've got a beeper built in to our frame. We've got our XT60 holder, I can only imagine. We've got a file. Now, it's not unusual that a frame comes with a file, so you can tighten up that carbon. Super nice, though. We've got some uh, rings over here. I'd imagine these are something that would be useful somewhere. Then we've got CNC metal. Metal aluminum. Our CNC metal camera cage, okay? What I'm noticing right off the bat is it's got like some slicked shaved metal to give you that, you know, that silver trim effect. Right here, it's labeled R for right. This one has an L for left. So I'm not gonna mess up which side goes on which side. Additionally, inside, you've got little, little lines that tell your degrees. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I can actually look and read my degree when I'm setting my camera based off my camera cage of my Mantis 6. 
Very, very nice. Now, you will also see all of our screws are laid out and ready to go, and each bag is labeled with the size, the quantity, and is it an M3 or an M2? Next up, what I wanna show you is this is our front arms, and these are our rear arms. So, yes, the short arms are smaller shorter than the back arms and the reason for that is because we're going to run a dead cat configuration right we're going to run a dead cat configuration and that's because this is a mid-range cinematic frame that means we don't want props in our camera view because we're trying to get cinematic footage so they've shrunk the arms and they've popped them straight out which is the dead cat style or sometimes known as the dc all right pilots let's go ahead and get this built so we can check it out and go i was going to build it with you guys but as you can see right here all the screws are color coded so like for example m39 millimeter right here m39 millimeter that's these right here is yellow and yellow goes right here come on you guys don't need me to show you how to build this they made it nice and easy cookie cutter ready to go let's get this built pilots i got this thing built and ready to go this came together like like pie. Mwah. It was just amazing. Everything flowed together just so smoothly. Just how designed. Just how it was in the instructions. Absolutely amazing. The only thing is I found some extra screws, which is great. There was some extra 9s and 10s. When there was areas that called for 8mm, I went ahead and upgrade to 9 or 10. You know, get a little extra strength. But look at this guy. We've got our little landers in 3D print. We've got a place for an immortal T. We've got a place for our antennas. You can run uh, dual antenna, single antenna. You can do whatever you want. GPS here. Look at this little cradle for the air unit. Absolutely perfect. And if you're an analog guy, don't worry. You can drop this and stick in an analog or you can just buy the analog version. They sell it. This is the HD version. Absolutely amazing. Right here, we have mounting for any action camera you want. We've got a front bumper in that ice blue, which just looks absolutely amazing. Look at these two braces. This here, to me, is the most magical part about this frame. You can really pick up on the dead cat design right now. Look at that. I mean, that sticks out more than ever, but absolutely amazing and great because this is a cinematic quadcopter and we don't want props in our camera view. But look at these plates. CNC'd aluminum plates really, really make this guy super, super strong. I mean, from the moment I put in one screw, this arm just became absolutely solid. It was absolutely incredible. For your mounting, you have 20 by 20 and 30 by 30. You get this awesome little thing that we talked about here. It's gonna hold your buzzer just like this, like we talked about. We've got the LEDs just like we thought. And then you'll notice there's an indentation here and an outdentation here. And uh, that is how this guy has been designed it's a tight fit for sure and there you go that's in definitely not going anywhere but they have given you an m2 by seven millimeter screw two of them one here one here and this little belly ordeal not going anywhere so up here in the front in our camera cage you can do a 20 millimeter camera or a 19 millimeter camera which are pretty much the two that you would pretty much use these days. Back here in the back, mounting for your VTX, whether it's a Cadex Vista or whether you're doing analog, whatever it may be, you can get away with 30 by 30, 25 and a half by 25 and a half, or 20 by 20. So you can literally do any mount you want in the back. If it's a Vista, done. If it's a VTX, done. No matter what it is, you can fit it right here. If you're running a DJI Air Unit, I mean, that's what this little uh, dealio is built for ready to go you've got your plug right here and then on this side you've got i think your button or whatnot right here you'll notice there's another little print right up in here uh it's not the easiest to spot it's this piece right here see it right there that is actually a little tunnel where once you get whatever you're mounting here mounted including antennas gps whatever it may be it's like a little 
pocket where you can run all of your wires through and they'll stay safe and sound, ready to rock and roll. One of the last things I wanna to touch on is right here you've got a big square cutout, if you can see that, and that's meant for your XT60 cable. And they 3D printed this little notch right here and I can only imagine that the negative wire goes here, positive wire goes here, you kinda of spread this open, plop it in, close it up, and then it's supposed to tuck in right here. And unless I'm misunderstanding, which I don't think I am because you even have a notch here and you have a notch here, which tells me that this kind of clips into this hole. I mean, I, <laughs> I put all my strength into trying to put this in without the cables. There was no wire in here yet. I mean, this was just the blank tab and I could not get it in. I used pliers, I used screwdriver, I forced, I banged not going this is just not going in so i don't know if they need to reconfigure this maybe i'll go ahead and design something myself and one of the last things i want to do and i'm sure you guys want to know is throw this puppy on the schizel so let's go ahead and power up okay we're at zero grams as you can see and this is all up weight with the frame with the bolts with the nuts with the 3d prints i've even got my screw in here which probably weighs a bit or two uh for the actual mounting of the action camera everything is on and included 252 grams i'm digging it and i can't wait to build it what i want to know is do you guys want to see this get built let me know jump down in the comments and say drain man build it if y'all want to see this get built let me know i'm super stoked i hope that you guys had a blast i did i hope that you guys will go out and get your own manta 6 and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one Woo!